Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video and welcome back to Transfer Story. Today I'm not just covering one, two, three, four or five players, I'm covering six players in today's video. One of them is just a little update from yesterday's video, so if you haven't seen that, please feel free to click on the playlist at the end of this video and it'll take you to that video. But yeah, six players to talk about, so a lot to talk about, a lot to get through, so guys, you know what to do. Subscribe for more, thanks for watching, and let's go. So the first player I'm going to talk about is Marcus Alonso from Chelsea. You know, he's a left back, and we all know that. I've seen Alonso play many times, you know, for Chelsea. He's got interest from Inter Milan, so... You know, possibly going over to Italy. He's got a few years left on his contract as well, which I'll talk to you more about in just a minute. But he is 29 years old, so... You know, the likes of him coming to possibly the end of his career. I don't know what sort of age they were child at that, that, that sort of left back. I know Gary Neville was, I think, about 33. But anyway, it looks like he could be on his way out. This part is called Transfer Stories, just all the rumours that's going around at this point in time. You know, getting someone like Instagram interested in you, that's got to be, you know, I've got to see something special in you. I've seen, you know, your programme with Inter Milan that will probably, you know, you really do have to have the game. He's 29 years old, as I've already said, so possibly coming towards the end of his uh, career. End of contract is 30th of June 2023. So, you know, he's still got three years left on his contract. Past this year, you'll probably sound about two and a half years left on his contract. The time the contract runs out, 32, 33, might be a bit too late for him to make a move. But anyway, you know, contract that long with a club like Inter I don't know how Alonso would feel as I said I've seen him play many times before this would be an interesting move going forward which gives you one good reason to subscribe to this channel and to, you know stay updated with it all he's made around about 23 appearances so you know playing 23 appearances with 1,862 minutes under your belt, that ain't too bad either. But Chelsea did sign him way back in 2016. You know, for around about £21 million. So they probably will be getting a big profit at the end if they do sell. As I said, end of contract, 2023. So this one will definitely be one to keep an eye out for, you know, for this window. The next one I've already covered um, in a video, but just a slight update on him. Kante, or Kiate, I can't quite remember how to pronounce it. I know it's one of them. Uh, sorry if I've mispronounced it in any way. Um, he's got interest from Lil. Now, as I've said, I've already spoke about this with the likes of, you know, his age and everything like that. But he's got interest from Lille. Now, yet again, Lille is a club that I, you know, not personally seen in real life, but have watched a lot of times on the telly. Lille, I don't quite know how to summon them up as a club either. As I said, I have seen them play, just not a lot. But yeah, apparently got interest from Lille. That could be an interesting story for one or two reasons. One for a centre mid and two for his career. He's not played a lot at Chelsea. He's only played a matter of 2,135 minutes this season, with, along with 26 appearances. So, you know, the likes of that amount of appearances, with that amount of games that Chelsea have played, and don't forget the end of the Premier League season is pushing fast. Chelsea did sign him way back in 2016 though, uh, July 2016, four years at the club, possibly time to move on for uh, Kiarte. I hope I'm saying this right, um, his name. Uh, but anyway, you know, 
more than does look like likely he will be leaving the club. And yet again, you can catch them further in town video in that playlist, that shop at the end of this video. The next one, I really am happy that I'm covering this player. He's one of the players that I would like to cover a lot of the time. One of the clubs I can't see him really going to. The other one, it could be an interesting um, match up between him and Alonso. It is Andre Griezmann. He's got interest from Arsenal, which as I said I can't see him going to, but into Milan. Now we all know that he does play for Barcelona, but I very rarely see him in a Barcelona shirt. The 29 years old has had 43 appearances this season. As I said, that's not a lot if you think about it. Now the likes of how many games Barcelona have played. You know, it's 29. Is it that time for him to move on? Did Barcelona buy him just slightly too late? He's played a minimum of 3,183 minutes and the contract is not until the 30th of June 2024. So he's still got three years, three years left on his contract. This one could be slightly interesting because obviously if Alonso goes there to Inter, Griezmann goes to Inter, Lukaku's already at Inter, this could really be a powerhouse. Uh, in Serie A in the near future if these two deals do go through. Obviously you will know if they go through a video on my channel all about it so you know you never miss it. But Griezmann and Intershare, what do I think about that? As I said I think it would be great for Griezmann to go somewhere else with the likes of I know, <coughs> excuse me, I know Messi's already coming out of, you know, leaving Barcelona, but Griezmann is not really that central striker, so with the likes of Griezmann covering the left wing, yeah, it's got to be a bit tough, I think, with the likes of, you know, the players they got there already. This one could be, as I've said, interesting, especially if Alonso does go there, but as I've said, the better you can keep up to date is subscribing to the channel. The next one is just a quick update from yesterday's video. If you want to hear this video, it might not be yesterday, it might be a day before, I can't remember when it was uploaded, but yeah, again, it'll be in that playlist that I'll pop up at the end of this video. It's Jack Greenish that's got interest from Dorkman. Can't see him going there, if I'm all honest. But that's just a bit of the update that I'll, so I will cover you on. But yeah, he's got interest from Dorkman. As I said, I can't see him going there, but. As I said, if you want to see that video, please feel free to go back and check it out. Then, obviously, now we're going to Henrietta. Sorry if I missed that, I might probably have somewhere. The Tottenham uh, left back, I believe he is. We barely seen him in a Spurs shirt. He has played 35 appearances for Tottenham this season, but. If you think it again, where, how many appearances Tottenham have done. But Arta, on his way to Monaco, could be a good move for him. Let's be honest, with the likes of, you know, Arta going to Monaco, 27 years old, so he's still got the peak of his career. Tottenham did sign him back in 2017 for around about 22 and a half million so they probably will get a huge profit for this player if they do let him let him go his current contract does not run out until the 30th of june 2022 he's played a minimum of 2935 minutes with 35 appearances as i said 35 appearances that's not a lot if you think about it you think about FA Cup, League Cup, the League. So I think it may be time for Arta to leave Tottenham. But anyway, as I said, better to give up today is subscribing to this channel. 27 years old, so as I said, still got the peak of his career. Signing back in 2017, so he's still, you know, been at the club for three years and obviously signed a five year contract. 
but then you really have got to think about it, you know, has he got enough game time at Tottenham this season? I don't think he has. I think he might be better moving on. My last player for today, and I'm so excited to cover this player, is Daniel Alves. Now, the Bar Munich left back. Daniel Alves is one of them players that. So, yes, yeah, again, sorry for my Spanish name has really got, you know, the skill, the quality that everyone that someone like Man City wants. And funny enough, that's a club he's got interest from, Manchester City. He's got one goal to his name this season, so with the likes of, you know, being 28, one goal to his name, playing in left back as well. Now, this was the sort of stats that I look at but I think he is getting good playing time. He's got 3,243 minutes this season with 37 appearances. So he's got two more appearances than Arthur at Tottenham, but almost nearly double the time, if I'm, if I'm not too far wrong. But please correct me if I am. The end of contract. Now, this will be one to watch out for as well, because it's the 30th of June, 2021. We get to January, he could talk to Cubs on even on a free. So this one more than likely will go ahead. But as I said, only way to keep up to date. But you know, Daniel Alves possibly coming to the Premier League. This would be huge for the Premier League if he does come across. But you know, Daniel Alves, as I said, Daniel Alves, City, Premier League, I think he'll go into one. Well, got bring this video to an end, guys. You know what to do. Give us a little big thumbs up if you enjoy it. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Ciao.